Good morning children. In today's session, I'm going to take science for 6th standard and that is unit 4, our environment. Already we have completed 4 lessons and this is the last lesson for you children, our environment. And those who have the book can take page number 47. Now we are going to see the introduction first now. The surrounding or space in which a person or an animal or a plant lives is known as an environment. That is, surrounding those who live in the surrounding, that is for even if it is a person or animal or plant, those who live, it's known as an environment. Now, environment is everything that surrounds us. Namla another environment. Then it can have both living and non-living things. Abiotic are non-living things such as sunlight, air, water and minerals. These, all these are non-living things. So these come under abiotic factors. Then biotic factors are living things of our environment such as plants, animals, bacteria and more. So bacteria, that is biotic factors are the living things and the abiotic factors are the non-living things. Okay, biotic, abiotic. Okay. So, biotic comes under what children? Living, living things. Okay. And abiotic comes under non-living things. Abiotic comes under non-living things. Now, um, organisms, uh, that is first we will see the ecosystem. Okay. What is that? The ecosystem. Now, the ecosystem is a community. That is, community means a living place. Okay. Of a living and non-living things they work together so living as well as the non-living things which work together is called as an ecosystem so what is ecosystem ecosystem is a community where both living and non-living things interact or contract or they work with each other is called as an ecosystem now each part of an ecosystem has a role to play. So in the ecosystem, every part which is in the ecosystem has each and every one, everything has a role to play. Now any changes in the environment, we are living in the environment, we are living in the environment, we are living For example, there is increase in the temperature, if we are in the summer time, we are hot and the heatness is just like the heat, so there is a change. Same way, we are living in the winter season, we have heavy rains, that's why we have to change the changes. So these can have a big impact, in fact, any effect, Purida, effect or outcome, okay, have a big impact in an ecosystem. So in the changes, that's why we have to change the effect of the ecosystem. What is the effect of the ecosystem? Now, ecosystem can be natural or artificial. Natural is not here. Artificial means man-made, okay? So, we have two types that is natural and artificial. Natural and artificial. And this natural, if you take, you have two types that is terrestrial. Terrestrial means land. Okay, terrestrial means what, children? Land. Aquatic means what? That water. Okay, that is terrestrial. For example, you can give forest. Okay, and aquatic you can give as pond. Colon solralia. That is a water. Aquatic means water. Then in artificial also you have both terrestrial as well as aquatic. But this is a artificial man-made. So terrestrial you can take it as garden. Terrestrial example garden and the aquatic example aquarium. Okay all these are man-made. So both natural and artificial you have. Natural that is terrestrial forest. Aquatic pond. When you take artificial, I said man made. Terrestrial is example you can give as garden. And aquatic can give as aquarium. Okay? And the fish tanks, that is aquarium. Then next, components of an ecosystem. Components. That is, I said, biotic and abiotic. These are the components of the ecosystem. What are the components? Biotic and the abiotic. If you take biotic, I said living, living. Okay. Abiotic means what I said? Non-living. Okay. Biotic living things, abiotic non-living things. For example, if you take for the biotic living, you can take plants, animals and human beings. All these are the biotic living. Okay. And if you take this abiotic, I said non-living things, okay? That's all the non-living components like sun, all these comes under non-living things, okay? Then, next we have the 
abiotic physical factors physical factors and edaphic factors edaphic is nothing but the soil okay so you have physical factors as well as a edaphic then if a physical factors you can take that light temperature wind all these comes under physical factors what are i said light temperature wind all these comes under physical factors now if you go to the edaphic edaphic means soil i said so in the soil what is it water air in the soil organic matters all these comes under edaphic that is air in the soil water and organic matter all these comes under the edaphic factors okay children did you understand now that is in the ecosystem we have two types natural and artificial so natural if you take terrestrial that is land aquatic water so in this nature itself example forest and the aquatic pond and artificial if you take terrestrial you can take as garden and aquatic aquarium and these you have now we can see the components of the ecosystem if you see both biotic and abiotic biotic i said living abiotic non living so in the biotic you can have plants animals human beings all these comes under the biotic and abiotic example sun water air all these comes under the abiotic now if we go to this physical factors and edaphic factors you have in the physical factors you can take light temperature then wind all these comes under the uh, physical factors now if you take edaphic that is soil air water organic matters in the soil all these comes under the edaphic factors now you understand children that is ecosystem natural and artificial naturally and artificial you have that is terrestrial and aquatic and the components biotic abiotic living and non living and physical factors and edaphic so with this now uh, we will see now now we finish types now we'll see natural ecosystem and the artificial ecosystem now ecosystem originated without human intervention is called natural ecosystem the yerkayagave padikapattadu da natural ecosystem without the man's interference okay that is called as a natural ecosystem now this can be aquatic or terrestrial so naturally adu vandu land avum irukalam water avum irukalam seriya now this ecosystem in water is called aquatic ecosystem that sea river lake pond and puddle puddle la kutta en solra illaya that is muddy small ponds they are called as a puddle and these are the examples of the natural aquatic ecosystem then ecosystem outside the water body so not this water outside the water what you have you have land okay yeah? these are called as a terrestrial ecosystem so for in that for that examples what forest mountain deserts all these comes under the natural terrestrial ecosystem so in the natural ecosystem two types you have i said aquatic and terrestrial so aquatics inside the water body terrestrial outside the water body that is land okay the aquatic means you can take sea river water lake pond all these comes under the aquatic if you take terrestrial what and all you have that is mountain deserts forest all these comes under the natural ecosystem then next we'll see the artificial artificial means what i said man made okay artificial is created and maintained by human okay man made and nama humans adu and enna pandrom maintain pandrom they have some of the characteristic of natural system these are much simpler than the natural so natural system avida man made vandu romba simple okay these can be the terrestrial ecosystem such as paddy fields garden etc or the aquatic ecosystem such as fish tank preetha nama ipo aquatic natural eduthona the sea river water lake adhellame peri perisa irukum adu romba simple avum kadaiyadha adu maintain pandrathu but this in the water tanks adala irukum bodhu nama simple ah adu alaga maintain pannalam illaya so these are the differences between the natural and the artificial then uh, see ya do you know in that uh, aquarium is a place where fish and other water creatures and plants are maintained you can see a see a fish tank here you can see this okay an aquarium can be a small tank or a large building with one or more large tanks ipo da oru fish tank um irukla illa naal anju fish tanks oru building la vekkala adu da aquarium en solrom seriya then terrarium terrarium is a place in which terrestrial animals and plants that is land animals and plants are maintained you can see in this picture here okay 
that is so aquarium uh, we control conditions that copy the natural environment the natural environment mariye adha enna pannuvanga terrestrial and terrarium um, maintain pannuvanga then next is food chain and food web now we'll see the living organisms need food to perform their physiological activities so namma sadhanamana namma edha activity pannanona what we need we need food food saapta da namak enna kadikum energy kadikum energy vandha da namma vandu activities different activities seiya mudiyum illaya so we need food to perform different functions some organisms can produce their own food such as plants while other organism cannot do this and depend on other organisms for their food so who are prepare their own food plants okay plants prepare their own food but other organisms what they have to do they have to depend on other organisms for the food now based on how the organism obtain their food they are producers and consumers so now we are going to see the producers and consumers so here you understood children so now we are going to see the producers and the consumers producers consumers now producers are organisms that are able to produce their own food okay produce own food and they do not need to eat other organisms so they don't do not depend on other organisms they prepare their own food so those producers are also called autotrophs okay those who produce their own food are called as a autotrophs then organism will go to the consumers organism which cannot produce their own food cannot produce own food and depend on other organism okay depend on others for food is called consumers and they are otherwise called as a heterotrophs so producers we say autotrophs consumers heterotrophs okay children now do you understand producers those who produce their own food and those who do not depend on others they are called as a producers and uh, other name for this is autotrophs now next we'll go to the consumers so those who cannot produce their own food and who depend on other organisms for the food is called as a consumers and they are also called heterotrophs then there are many types of consumers and we can classify them into groups depending on the food they consume there are many types of consumers okay that is herbivores herbivores carnivores and omnivores now if you take herbivores animals which eat plants or plant products so animals which eat only plants are called herbivores example all the plant eaters or that deer goat all these comes under the herbivores that eat only the plants or the plant products they are known as a herbivores next we'll go to the carnivores means that eat only the animals okay eat only animals example lion tiger all these comes under the carnivorous animals next omnivores that eat both plants as well as the animals both plants and animals okay they are called as the omnivores for that example you can give humans we also eat both what a plants and the animals same with crow you can take all these are the omnivores so what are the three types herbivores carnivores and omnivores so herbivores plant eating carnivores only animals and omnivores both plants and animals for herbivores what is the example deer goat cow rat all these comes under the herbi then carni means that is only the animal eating that is lion tiger owl frog all these comes under the carnivores and omnivores that eat both plants and animals that is humans dogs and crow then uh, decomposes microorganism that obtain energy from the bread 
breakdown of dead organisms that is both plants and animals and the dead ait apram set it apram enna agudhu ange endu enna agudhu chemical reaction form the microorganisms okay they get the energy then they break this complex organic substance into simple organic so complex na romba difficult anadhu adhilendha avanga enna pandranga break down into simple organic substance that goes into the soil soil enadhu mannu adu enga povudha andha andha organic cell materials la adu soil ku la poi from that the plants get the nutrients okay from the soil the plants get the nutrients then next we will go to the uh take page number 54 children waste management and recycling please so did you understand this children now we'll go to the waste management and recycling waste management and recycling that is to protect our environment protect means nan adha nam paadagaakkadhu illaya nam environment paadagaakkana what we have to do it is very important to reduce waste so in the previous class itself we have learned illaya nam vandu waste epdi reduce pannanum adha nam padichirukom so how to reduce waste that is it is very important to reduce waste to protect our environment and manage it properly and maximize recycling that we have to uh, reduce the waste manage it and you have to maximize and increase for no recycling waste is any substance or material that has been used but is not wanted anymore so enna pandrom nama use pandrom use panitta apra enna pandrom adha nama vandu throw panidrom that is only once it is used then and we are throwing it this is either because it is worn out broken or no longer has any purpose so adhu vandha enna agudhu nama vandha edavadhu or things use pandrom na adha nama use pannittu one time le throw pannidrom illa edavadhu odanjiruchuna illa edavadhu kelinjiruchuna adha enna pandrom adhu apdi nama throw pannidrom so everyone produces waste which has impact on all ecosystems so nama vandha waste throw pandradhunala idu nariya namak vandha pollution agudhu so that is has an impact impact it has an effect on all the ecosystems however most of us do not know where our garbage goes garbage na enadhu kuppa preetha nama kottidrom velila potrom na adu enge povudhu namak theriyadhu illaya so these are many types of waste there is liquid waste liquid means in a drains thanni adu povudhu illaya then there are gases hiding in the air gases valiyavum pollute avudhu like pollutants from factories okay and there is a solid waste that is garbage nama kuppa podrom illaya we put in a waste means what are the three types of waste liquid gas and solid that is solid means that is a garbage okay garbage means what i said kuppa podrom illaya liquid is that is in drains and then gas from factories all these are the waste okay pollution then biodegradable and non biodegradable waste solid waste can generate to can be classified into two types that is bio and non bio biodegradable and non bio degradable now bio the term biodegradable is used for those things that can be easily decomposed by natural agents like water oxygen ultraviolet rays of the sun and the microorganisms what is biodegradable it's used for those things that can be easily decomposed by natural agents what are the natural agents water oxygen ultraviolet rays of the sun and micro all these are the natural agents okay which are decomposed by this then one can notice that when a dead leaf or a banana peel is thrown outside banana peel na the banana saapta the skin na veli potrom illaya it is acted upon by several micro organs the veli potta odna adha enna adhu is acted upon by a many micro organs in a micro organism like bacteria fungi or small insects in a time period so konja nerathile adha enna adhu it is affected by the bacteria or by small insects fungi idellame nam adula sutti apdi irukum biodegradable waste includes vegetable and fruit peels peels na enna sonna adoda skin nama avve cut panni eduthu potrom illaya adhu da vegetable and skin peels leftover food 
நம்ம சாப்பாடு மிஞ்சி போன சாப்பாடு போடுறோம் இல்லையா அண்ட் கார்டன் வேஸ்ட் கார்டன் வேஸ்ட்ல என்னென்ன இருக்கு கிராஸ் லீவ்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்விக்ஸ் ட்விக்ஸ் சின்ன சின்ன பிரான்ச்சஸ் ஓகே இது எல்லாமே வந்து என்ன ஃபார்ம் ஆகுது பயோடிகிடபிள் ஓகே அண்ட் திஸ் நேச்சுரல் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் லைக் ஆக்சிஜன் வாட்டர் மாய்ஸ்டர் அண்ட் ஹீட் தீஸ் ஃபெசிலிட் தி டீகம்போஷன் பை பிரேக்கிங் த complex small organisms into simpler units and this decomposed matter mixes with the or returns back to the soil what happens is decomposed matter returns to the soil and thus the soil is once nourished with natural nutrients and minerals it helps in the growth of a plant that is decomposed matter which mixes with the soil and this soil is once again nutrients and the minerals are formed and this helps in the plant growth okay then non biodegradable those materials which cannot be broken now biodegradable i said it's broken down into uh, small uh, microorganisms like bacteria fungi all these acts upon that but this is non biodegradable which cannot be broken down or decomposed into the soil by microorganism and by the natural natural agents what i said that water oxygen all these are the natural agents these cannot okay this cannot be decomposed by the natural agents or by the microorganism this is called as a non biodegradable these substance consist of plastic materials metal scraps metal and thundugal la irukkilya scraps aluminium cans and bottles okay okay children now uh, next we have uh, rani and her garbage in the next class we will continue children okay thank you